Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh, they hate that intro. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She's a motherfucking smack addict. Bye, 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 bye. Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You already know what it is, man. In a menudo style, in direct fashion, you can tell by that thumbnail right there. <laughs> we got messages to address, people to address, things to say today. Yes, indeedy. Time to get back to the old indeedy greedy. I wrote graffiti on the bus, right? And all that. Um, but before we do all that, let's hit that like and subscribe button, man. Put that notification bell to also you're abreast of all the dope content that I'm bringing all week long because I'm going to be bringing a whole lot of more. This week, next week, and every other week, man. We got to do what we does, cuz. Oh, power! Whack does it. Why can't I? Right? Let's just do it. Um, Come on now. Spence la tira. Dispensa guard. Spence la tira, homes. Con permiso. Can I have the tear for a minute? Okay, let me address some things. Let me address some issues. No more drama. Save that for your mama. But at the same time, in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to speak my mentality. I'm going to speak my mind, right? Can I do it? Gunner, but you're all flamed up. What do you think? You're a Norteño? Nah, I think I look cool. That's what? That's it. I'm so cool. You could call me culo. Call me whatever the fuck you want. But at the same time, homes, you know what I mean? Just watch me. Now, watch how he does this. Um, don't take it personal, YouTubers. Content creators. All you vatos, don't take it personal, eh? You know, people make this YouTube shit a personal vendetta. I don't like this walk. Don't take it personal. I just want to be all alone. I just sit back riding chrome, right? I'm not taking it personal like a Monica song. See, myself, what I'm doing is I'm speaking real and I'm speaking my, my versions of my stories to the masses, to the gente, man. Hey, don't be mad at me because you're not me and don't be mad at me because I, okay, you can't tell a story like I can tell a story. There's several individuals and content creators that know that they have it. So they put it out there and there's several that don't, but they try, they try to hold on like in vogue. Now look, don't take it personal, man. When you see a lot of these stories that are being told by several content creators, you see a lot of things going on in YouTube, don't take it personal. You know, don't feel like all the subliminals and everything is directed directly at you because nine times out of 10, most people don't give a fuck about you, right? And I'm talking to content creators. A lot of people could care less about what you got going on and care more so about what they have going on. But you're too busy, all up in the mix, worrying about other people. So I'm going to take you down a road right now, Holmes, and I'm going to explain to you situations that have never been explained before. I'm going to talk about content creation that has just boggled my motherfucking mind. Things that people are doing on YouTube that has flabbergasted me, word of the day, right? People that just trip me out sometimes. Fuck it. If we're going to talk, let's talk, eh? Spence up. Um, you know, when I first started this YouTube shit, I came out and I was, uh, rocking real tough with the convicts perspective, Rojo and Flax, right? I um, mean, the reason I was doing that was because we were all trying to help each other to push a narrative, to get on. See, there weren't too many Northern California channels at that point in time, active or non-active. Why? I've told you guys in many spills before, because not a lot of Northanials will not go on camera. They will not speak about politics. They will not speak about their incarceration. You know, they're told not to. That's just what it is. I was of the same mentality for many, many years. But when I took a step back, like a new jack man, and I decided that that was not for me anymore, I became a grown man in my own ways, in my own thinking, so I could do what I does. Repercussions for actions? Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. They're going to write graffiti. But at the same time, you know, I'm going to speak on what I know I can and toe that line on what I shouldn't. Now, look, this is facts. We all came out together, man, then maybe a couple weeks prior to me, and I decided that for no other reason we should for form a collaboration. Now, I didn't say this. I wasn't no shot caller. I wasn't dictating no programs, but I knew that there was very minimal Northern California channels out there. There was only Big Box from Paradigm Media who had started prior, and a few others, right? But no one was able to really sustain. No one was really able to put shit out there and tell you stories from a Northern perspective, a convict's perspective, right? Or for several different perspectives, like Gunner's Collective's perspective. Now, let me tell you something about my perspective. My perspective on the situation was I was going to speak on me and mine and tell you guys my funny stories. Throw a little bit of comedy, add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of spice and everything nice. And we were going to do it without the added preservatives. But somewhere along the line, man, there started to be disgruntled individuals within the group. People started to hate on your boy. Now, remember a long time ago, I started a channel. My first channel. A1 from day one. 
and I exploded on the block, man. You know, maybe it was because I had the gift of gab. Maybe people just were feeling the situational things I was throwing out there. I don't know what the fuck it was. Guard, what was it? Who cares what you say it was? What it was, was I was just being myself. I was coming into my own, that's it, right? And cocaine is America's cup of coffee. And everybody was snorting, right? Everybody wanted to hear what Gunner had to say because I was throwing it out there with realness. Just from my fucking whole, the way I seen things, right? Um, and there was a lot of haters, you know, in the beginning. I had people actually get at me right from day one and say, you know what? We're going to hate on you till the wheels fall off. I said, well, fucking do what you got to do. I write Dayton, so I don't know what you're on, right? Um, McLean's or whatever, homes, but do what you got to do. So <clears throat> when I first started my first channel, it was going, right? And then do you guys remember when it got canceled? Canceled on me. And for many years now, three years, man, I thought it was baby mama drama. I thought she had dipped in dad into my cell phone records and was able to utilize whatever she knew to do that. But just recently, I found that that wasn't the case. Now, I'm not going to put the individual's name out there because that would be harsh, a harsh tactic, right? Um, it's something I'm going to keep to the chest. But I will say that it was one of my own. One of the people that I was rocking with was able to decipher my password, my code, man. And because I was in the right place, I guess, at the right time, um, he was able to get a hold of my laptop and delete my channel. Now, you say to yourself, why? Why do this? Why hate on the gun? Um, it's a perfect answer. Money. Money's the root of all evil, homes. Money comes before friendships and all that. You might think of authors, your camarada, your homeboy, your friend, homes, but money is definitely going to play a part in everything. And when someone's doing worse than the other one's doing, then guess what's going to happen, homes? He's going to hate all the way till he gets to the top or till he tries to damn near get there like a food stamp to a dollar. Damn near, right? Everything is cool when you buy cold food, but can't buy hot food, man. Warm it up. It's at home. These were the type of tactics that were being played with the gun. So I didn't know this, man. And for many years, I thought, you know, oh, the baby mama did this and she's a cold motherfucker, cold piece of work, right? She wanted to cancel my channel, all this and all that. And I was blaming, playing the blame game with the wrong person, man. When me, they, In the meantime, in between time, it was my own circle, my own gaggle, my own gaggle of geeses, gooses. I want the goose to lay gold eggs for Easter. Anything you say, and by the way, right? By the way, motherfuckers was canceling me out little by little. You know, I was being hated on from within. And I, that, that takes me to a story, Hente, about being hated on within. It's happened many a times in my neighborhood, in my barrio. There's been this many times, homes, that I almost got clipped. There's been this many times I almost got whacked, removed, hurt, stabbed, killed, maimed, whatever you want to call it, all because of I was being me. You know, I was always taught, man, when you see the adversary, the enemy, get off where you're mad at. Identify them, it's them, handle your business. And I was out there, Merced, 2006-ish, 2007-ish doing that. See, a lot of people don't understand, man. I did all the way from 91 to 96 locked up, late 96. I did all the way from fucking 1998 to 2004 incarcerated. I did all the way from 2007, man, all the way to 2013 incarcerated. Yes, your boy was wiggling like Dirk Wiggler, you know? There was a couple of times in the end time of that 2000 and, uh, what was it, 2007 to 2013. I think I got out and did a couple of violations. But what I'm saying is I did the, the, the massive amount of that time incarcerated, locked up. Some active yards, some not. Some 50-50s, some GP. You know, it just depended upon where I was in my life and what mentality I had at that particular time. Spence, I keep it real. Now, um, <clears throat> if you don't like me, you don't like me. So anyways, these individuals, man, uh, from within, you know, in my neighborhood, many a times, man, they try to have me took out or, you know, felt that I was pushing a hard line, maybe doing a little too much. And so they got me out the fucking way, way, man either by fucking slandering my name or really actually trying to body me. There's been several times and I've told stories that Vontos had tarps laid out with my name written all over them and I was able to wiggle by the skin of my motherfucking buck teeth. I was able to get out of situations that I probably shouldn't have. You know, no one understands and how it feels to walk into a home and sit down and there's Vontos there and it don't smell like no pain in the house yet there's a tarp and you ask me, hey, Holmes, so I was like, what's that thing on the ground? Oh, that's a tarp for painting. Yeah, but it don't smell like pain in here. I ain't a bawoso, homes. And everybody on got overalls and plastic gloves on like they're about to scrub a scrub, scrub something, right? So I was scared. Machetes in the corner. The game was ugly and it was thick. It was real, though. All because of who I was and what I was out there doing. See, when you're applying pressure and you're doing things, people don't like that. Motherfuckers talk all that good game about, oh, I'm active and I'm a gangster and I'm this and that. Until it comes time, man. And when it comes time and you're really out there doing that, man, nobody wants you around, homes. So they'll cancel you out. And that's how it is on the YouTube yard. People will cancel you out. They don't give a fuck, Holmes. Now you tell me what type of man 
grown man worries or has another man's name in his mouth constantly. It's cool to make a couple videos, have a little fun, man. If you want to disrespect the guy because that's the type of fucking person you are, handle your business and do that. But when it's a constant thing every fucking day, homie, you got issues. You need to go to a psychiatrist and find out exactly why your old lady left you, who touched you when you were young, all kinds of different things because definitely you got psychological issues to be constantly wanting to pull people's paperwork and expose them and do these types of things, these tactics you're doing when deep down inside, you're throwing rocks up out of a glass house to see, you know, damn well. You ain't no good. Nothing that you say on YouTube can make you good again. You're no good in the hood. Gunner, you can't go back here. Neither can you, bitch, right? There's all kinds of things that people can't do, but instead of speaking on another motherfucker and trying to knock the lint up out of his pockets, what you need to be understanding and doing is getting your ass back to work out there picking tomates in the field, homes, and paying attention to you and yours before you and yours ain't there to pay attention to no more. Bang, bang. It's just real talk, homes. No threats, no threats of violence and acts of violence. We don't need all that, homes. Well, we need is some acts of silence and do your own fucking thing and be a man. Stand on your own ten and your own two like I've done. See, I've done it by myself, homes. I've helped a lot of fucking people. A lot. Sent computers. You know, covered up motherfucking misdeeds they did. You know, just a lot of different things. Um, and at the end of the day, I get the fucking knife in my back. Well, son, let me pull that motherfucker up out. This ain't your chance. See, homes, I'm going to keep it real. Okay? So my own team, my own people, man, are the ones that canceled out my channel. How do I know? So I'm scared because I'm going to do some computer shit, right? And I went into the archives and looked at it. And I actually seen, man, when it was pulled and who did it and how they did it and why they did it, right? And why they did it was because for no other reason than money. I was having some, they weren't, and that was it, period. Now, along the lines, you know, I've done a lot of collabs with a lot of people, fucked with a lot of people in this YouTube shit. And I'm here to tell you that's no more. I'm not doing that. I'm going live solo. Do I got love for dubs? Absolutely. But am I going live solo? Yes, I am. Absolutely. Why? Because a wise person told me to get back to me and mine's. Do it like I started. I started alone. I'm going to continue alone. That's just what it's going to be. Bolo. Solo. Like a sideways leading. <laughs> Cholo. That's what I'm going to do, cuz. You know what I mean? I have to. Um, and it's no slight and no disrespect to those who I fuck with and to those who I, I consider friends and to those who I don't. Um, it's just me being me. See, this is YouTube, man. You can't take it personal. That's the problem here. A lot of authors are taking it personal. And I understand. And just from the outside looking in, man, it's a lot of Northern California channels. Mm -hmm. Just making the people look bad. I once had a conversation with the fucking individual with the shit bag, right? And I told him, hey, look, look, bro. I said, why is this constant beef and bickering going on amongst us? We are all on the same level, homes. We are no longer active in the game. We are no longer that. We are all the same, homie. If anything, we should be trying to help each other. We should be trying to push each other to fucking, you know what I mean, coming up, bro. Instead of constant bickering like a fucking bunch of chismosas and jainas, pirujas and tiradas. You know what I mean? Because that's what it is. There's a group of tiradas on YouTube that want to fucking uh, just sit there and talk shit amongst each other. And then throw paperwork out there and be little bitches. And then there's a whole bunch of real motherfuckers that are like, damn, homie, you're fucking it up for the rest of us. Our own people kill our own vibe. I've noticed that. All for drama. But they don't want that drama. See, a lot of them don't want that smoke. They don't want to be involved in that in real life. I know I don't. I don't want to cause drama and to be a part of that situation, homie. I want to be the fuck about that situation because let me tell you, at the end of the day, it's not going to end well for you and it's definitely not going to end well for me and I don't want to be locked up and I don't want to see you hospitalization over there like this, doing the fit around combustion of the Humpty Hump. Fuck the Humpty Dance, homes. I want everyone to do the money dance. Why can't we all win? A lot of the Northern California channels here on YouTube um, are bullshit. I'm just going to keep it real. I'm not going to pick and identify which ones are R and which ones aren't. But a lot of them got the game fucked up, homes. See, I noticed that mentality and it's very unbecoming and very fun. It makes... It makes Vaultos from Northern California look foolish, right? Ones that are really putting in the work or ones that have at one point in time. Um, because that ain't our stilo. That was never our stilo, homes. We were more serio, laid back, peek the scene out. You know what I mean? Stay aware. That was what I was taught. That's what was instilled. That's what was indoctrinated into our sangre. That's exactly how we got down, homes. But when I see a whole bunch of motherfuckers on YouTube utilizing this platform, not to make some feria or to speak a good message or to help people in the meantime, in between time, but when I see it as drama and game and running fucking bullshit on people, I hate it, bro. I hate it. It makes a motherfucker like me want to step back. But guess what? I can't because I can't stop and I won't stop because I don't stop as I won't stop. That's what I was taught. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, but if you notice, really, Sergio looked at it. 
A lot of the Northern California prison channels, man, are bullshit. A lot of them speak on things that they're not knowing about or, or talk about other guys, you know, fucking just disrespecting people. Now, I'm not going to sit here and blame it totally on Northern California. There are some Southern California channels, people from Southern California um, that do a little bit of the same thing. You know, Mr. Criminal, there are some volatiles that disrespect people, homes, knowing damn well they wouldn't fucking throw a grape in a grape fighting contest. There are a lot of people that wouldn't fucking break the straw off a camel's back if the camel rode in on them with Mr. Capone riding it. There's a lot of people that talk a lot of high power shit, but at the end of the day, they wasn't high power like high power records, homes. They was just trying to get by handing out CDs at a local Walmart. Now, let me tell you about real motherfuckers, man. There are real people, man, that just kick their stories tell you what it is, and get the fuck on down the road, homes. Whether you watch their content or not, they appreciate the value of the view, and that's what it is. That's what I've always wanted to do. Yeah, I'm a little bit more entertaining, homes. I got gift of gab, spectacular vernacular. I like to shoot shit out there and throw stories out there and make them fun and believable and real. But at the end of the day, people are hating on me for that fact. Don't fucking hate me, bro. Do your own thing. Don't take it personal. If I say something, me, and I'm speaking for me, not all the rest of these babosos that like to speak just to spoke. When I'm speaking, because I write on spokes, when I'm speaking, I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart. See, there's a lot of things I could do. There's a lot of retaliation tactics I could do. I could sit here and pull paperwork myself and throw shit out there, but that ain't cool. See, I did that before, Holmes, and it didn't work out for me. And I realized and I decided, man, I can't be a hypocrite in the game. I need to apologize to those that need to be apologized to, and I need to fucking not fuck with anyone, period, anymore. And that's what I do now. You know, every day it feels good to know that I get up, go to work, talk to my old lady on the phone, do what I have to do. Um, I'm not worried about, you know, uh, um, what the next man is doing or what the next man is thinking. I could care less, man. You know, I told everyone I'm going to go live again, and I am. You, you, no one knows the time nor place like Jesus breaking bread like Jesus said, right? You know what I mean? I'm going to make water into wine around this motherfucker. In my time. The reason why I don't do it is why you want to deal with a whole bunch of hate, a bunch of bobosos and trolls that are going to get in the lives and talk a whole lot of high power shit. They're taking shit personal. They're making it personal. This is a social media platform, man, to have a good time, to spread the good word, you heard? Not to sit here and bullshit and disrespect and drama. There's a lot of fucking channels behind the scene that like to stir the pot, man, and then blame game. Talking about Vatos are snitching. Hey, Vato, it's that Vato over there. He's the whole catalyst for this shit. He's the reason. I ain't the reason, Holmes. Let this be the season of the witch, bitch. The real shit is this. A lot of motherfuckers talk that talk, Holmes, but they're afraid to walk that walk. Do it on your own some. Do it on your lonesome like I did. You know, I've been hated on from every different angle and every different degree. And I continue to still be here and still be me. See, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and fucking expose people and talk shit and cry and scream and laugh and fucking do whatever I do while I'm choking on marijuana. What I'm going to do, Holmes, is I'm gonna just going to continue to do me and tell my stories. Don't take it personal. You know, people that take it personal, they take things personal. They feel like everyone's talking about them because they have shit to hide. Yeah, but what the fuck is talking about me, eh? You know, I, if you noticed, I ain't never talked about no one that ain't talked about me first. I'm going to let them know, know exactly, except that's like, what is like, West Hot saying it? What is like, Wife 100? I have done that. You know what I mean? I'll be a hypocrite. I'll be a liar. You know what I mean? I've had fun with it. Those are YouTube personalities, so I'm going to personally get YouTube on them, right? That's just it. But all these Northern California content creators or even Southern California content creators, man, I've had nothing to say about them unless they said it or mentioned my name first. And then it's on like Dinky and Donkey Kong throwing barrels, bitch. And that's just what I do. No disrespect is intended when I get on YouTube. I'm just telling my stories. If you don't like them, you can flip through the channels and go find Bigfoot. It's very easy and simple. It's very simple, gente. Um, anyways, you know, there's a lot of things that went on behind the scenes. And, uh, and it's a cold game, you know, to find out that a lot of these guys that you thought to, they were your friends or you think that they're your friends still or whatever, man, are the ones that are pushing the narrative on you. You know, the ones that for some reason want to get you out the way because they just don't like you. Deep down inside, they never liked you. Um, I don't understand why. Um, I give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Showed everyone love, you know. Um, but that's just what it is. You know, I get a bad name, a bad rap, and I've made some bad choices. No doubt about it. I think we all had. No one's perfect, actually. But at the end of the day, man, I'm going to continue to perfectly rock my rhyme and do what I do. It's what it is. Um, don't take it personal, YouTube content creators. Because I'm coming, Holmes, I'm coming differently now. You know, I'm going to continue to speak my mind, only I'm going to do it a little bit more flashier, a little bit more flavorish. Because I have decided 
that this is what the people want. I have decided that this is what's going to get me back in the algorithms. This is what's going to keep my channel pumping. You know, I've showed a lot of love and I still got a lot of love. There are a lot of Northern California channels that do it the right way. People like Boxer for Paradigm Media News. Keep my name out your mouth, Dave. You know what? Guess what, Holmes? Hey, I like your channel. I'm always going to support it, man. I believe in that Vato because that Vato speaks the real. Vato's like renegade media, man. I like that young Vato, man. He keeps it real. And there's several other channels that I will say keep it real. And there's a lot of you babosos. Fuck you. Toma. You don't keep it real, Holmes. You're hating on your boy because you ain't your boy. And that's just it. Anyways, don't take your personal content creators. And this goes for every genre. This is some knowledge you can't get in college. It's some real game. Am I ranting? Am I raving? Nah, I don't go to raves, eh? You know what I mean? I might sound like ecstasy in the hell. Don't tell nobody, right? But I'm not going to no raves and shit like that. But I am ranting a little bit, ranting and raving. And what I am here to tell you is this, man. Before you think about talking about the next man, and before you thinking about doing all that, man, you know what I mean? Change your fucking, your, your diaper, eh? You know what I mean? Stand up, pull your skirt down, homes. There's certain situations, certain things that you have to do. Certain people you shouldn't, shouldn't talk about. You know, we don't get this game fucked up. Don't let the light skin fool you. Motherfuckers will fuck you up, right? There are things in life, you know, people will say and constantly uh, uh, throw out their homes without any proof or without knowing really what's going on, you know, and just do your own program, man. If you do your own program, I learned a long time ago, homes, it would be a great program. If you try to do someone else's program, you're going to trip, fall, and can't get up, slipping like a DMX song. With that being said, gente, I just wanted to throw this out there this morning. Um, you know, don't take it personal. Content creators, be your own man. That's how you succeed in this shit. How have I succeeded for so long and been able to continue to do my thing for three years straight? It's not by telling fake stories. It's not by fabricating shit. It's not by fucking hanging around with certain individuals. It's by being me, myself, and doing what I does, cuz. And with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive, the struggle, the struggle, the strive. I'm gonna continue to do it. Fuck it, you know what I mean? What can I do, gente? What can I do? You think he tore me down? Shit, you only brought me back up. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears this crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle and struggle and strive for what I truly believe in. And that's the coming together of the raza. Have you noticed a lot of these channels try to tear us down, homes? It's time for us to build ourselves back up. The gun. Bang, bang.